We are moving to be the first sub-national transport authority across the whole of the north of England for 16 million passengers and entrepreneurs. The first thing we'll do is produce a transport plan for the north for consultation. The evidence base for this is really important. What we're looking at are what are the major changes we could make to road and rail connectivity between our cities, our rural areas, our ports, our airports, which could make a meaningful difference to raising the opportunities for people to travel to higher quality jobs and to get goods and services to markets around the world. The opportunity, therefore, is to use transport connectivity and a new northern transport strategy as a way of improving aspirations and living standards for northern citizens. People need to be able to, to get from places to work, to live, to do business. So without that, uh, without that investment, we will have the bottlenecks that we see now and all it will do is we'll slow down our aspirations. It's absolutely essential. The evidence base for the Strategic Transport Plan is underpinned by the Northern Powerhouse Independent Economic Review. The review, which was published in 2016, set out how the North can transform its economy by investing in a series of prime and enabling capabilities. The four prime capabilities, advanced manufacturing, energy production, health innovation and digital technology, supported by three enabling capabilities of professional and financial services, logistics and further and higher education, all underpinned by the North's excellent quality of life, where how the North can transform its economy over the next 30 years. The Strategic Transport Plan's role is to understand which of those capabilities and where those businesses in those capabilities are located, we can better connect across the North to transform the economy of the North. The work done on the plan to date has identified a series of nine strategic development corridors, which, if transport investment is focused over the next 30 years, will help underpin the new economy of the north of England based on those prime and enabling capabilities. For example, if we connect better the nuclear power stations and energy producing part of West Cumbria with the wind energy farms in the northeast of England, the chemical sector in the Tees Valley and the new potash mine in North Yorkshire, we can create a true energy powerhouse which means that the north can be a net exporter of energy. We have a vision for the North as the most collaborative, knowledge-based economy in the world. What that means is that you've got the clusters that work extremely strongly uh, together. I think that the new plan that we've seen from Transport for North is extremely encouraging because it is looking at the economy in the round. It's about understanding how to connect the key clusters and the key capabilities together and it's something I applaud absolutely. Transport's absolutely vital for enabling people to get around between the cities, between the towns, villages um, of the north of England. And it's crucial for commuters, um, it's crucial for people going shopping, it's crucial for students, uh, it's crucial for us all to be able to move around freely. And at the moment, we just can't do that in an effective way. If you compare the way in which people travel around London, it's very, very different from an economic powerhouse like the north. 